ladies and gentlemen we are back in war and order and here you can see my brand new phoenix his name is literally giga chad okay and today we're going to be going over three events in the game three game modes that are so good that i really wish they were in rise of kingdoms honestly one of the biggest criticisms of rise of kingdoms is that a lot of the events kind of just feel the same this is no secret the developers have acknowledged it and it's been a topic of discussion for literally years now and when i started playing war in order i quickly realized that this game is packed full of mini games that are genuinely fun that don't really have that much to do with the city building war aspect except for the fact that progressing through those mini games gives you items and resources and upgrade potential for your actual city and so they are interconnected they are related but the mini games themselves are just fun little games that you get to play so today we're going to take a look at three of them and this is sort of becoming a series here on the channel where we take a look at some games and we extract out some of the things that they do really well in hopes that maybe they'll be implemented in other city builder games in in the genre but of course today's episode of the series is sponsored by war and order i wouldn't be able to make all the content that i make here on youtube if it weren't for generous sponsors like war and order so there's going to be a link in the description below if you want to give the game a try it is absolutely free and it really helps out the channel a ton and while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video okay without further ado let's jump right into the first mini game called pet carnival now here we can take a look at my cute little pony here okay this is this is my boy and we're going to go ahead and do a quick challenge and i'm going to explain a little bit more about this event in just a second but I just want to jump right in here so you can see exactly what it is and if you guys have played other games in this sort of infinite runner genre then you're going to know kind of exactly what this game mode is you collect all the resources you go ahead and you get the the magnets and things to collect the resources easier and there's a stamina meter now on the right there you saw the stamina meter ran out and my horsey collapsed unfortunately I know very sad but the cool part about this mini game is that you're not just required to use that horse there are other horses that you can catch and tame out in the world like you can actually find them out on the map and when you do catch them you can then train them and feed them so that way they perform better in this event which is really cool but not only that you get an individual reward for getting a certain rank here in the event and you contribute to your team reward as well there's a daily quest that goes along with this and really it's it's so simple right you see my stamina bar off on the top right corner there and I mean it's not like we're this isn't rocket science right we're not reinventing the wheel here this type of game has been around but my point is why don't other games in this genre utilize oh I flew off into the trees there oh my god he passed away why don't other games in this city builder genre utilize little mini games like this it doesn't have to be super complicated you don't have to reinvent the wheel just include an actual mini game that has meaningful rewards and progression for your account I don't know it's simple and I love it moving on to the second event here in war and order that I really wish other games would implement it is called savior of order you can see at the top of the screen here it's actually a building in your city you can see it's called savior of order you tap that and you can go through the different campaign levels and once you go ahead and challenge I think this is going to be a boss level um, but once you go ahead and challenge you can see that it is actually a sort of roguelike game mode and it is extremely reminiscent of vampire survivors which if you guys haven't played that game it came out I would say maybe one or two years ago on Steam and it just it blew up it it became one of the most popular games in a really short amount of time it was a little indie game and it was a ton of fun I was addicted to it and so when I first downloaded War and Order and I discovered that they actually have literally that game built into this game it's like it's it became so apparent to me that this should be the future of other city builder games like these other city builder games should have these little mini games that you can play that are completely different like this actual gameplay right and I'm, I'm trying to like talk to you guys while also focusing on this um this gameplay is completely different than the normal city builder gameplay that you would expect from a city builder game I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my flame firebird uh because it just pops off um this dude right here reminds me of stitches from uh World of Warcraft I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about there maybe I'll try and put them on the screen there when I'm doing the editing if I don't forget but my point is um these little game modes like there is nothing about this that streams city builder game it is literally just implemented into the game as just a fun thing to do and earn rewards for the progress of your account and I'll show you some of the rewards if we're able to defeat this level you can see I have to kill I have to kill 100 of the monsters um and I do like I said earlier I think there's a boss on this stage as well I think it's it actually might be a vampire um which is kind of funny because I just related this game to vampire survivors survivors but um, as you can see 
we are trying to dodge all of these like undead skeletons in what appears to be some uh creepy graveyard which honestly i love the vibes here this is like super halloween vibes we're gonna go all in on flame firebird here um and this game mode is it's honestly like kind of addicting um this is like when i play war and order like i look forward to these little missions and progressing through here because again it's just fun right and that's one of the things where you know when we play other city builder games here on the channel um there's a lot of content where you're like grinding barbarians or grinding some other event that has another you know pve content that's called something not barbarian but it is basically barbarian if you know what i mean and it's like those are great for like you know grinding rewards but why can't rewards be put behind events like this instead it just doesn't make any sense to me why you would want to play a, a game that's like the rewards are are boring to get right anyway uh let's go ahead and do divine shield conjure i actually like this one a lot because it spins around you um this is i don't remember what the equivalent is in vampire survivors um because it's been a while since i played it but there's definitely uh oh oh it's called um i think it's like the cross or something like that but uh yeah so oh let's grab this chest right here while stitches tries to destroy us let's see what we get and we get gal sword and ice strike both two new abilities there which is great and i'm taking a little bit of damage from him but honestly he's really just super tanky like i i outspeed him like crazy here and you do as you progress through these levels um you do upgrade your stats right like you upgrade your abilities you upgrade your skills so that way like the next time you get it dropped in the game or in your sort of a roguelike progression it is stronger than it was the last time you used it and you can progress things like before flame firebird like on my next upgrade i think gale sword turns into a a purple tier like flame firebird is purple tier um i think gale sword gets upgraded next we'll see after i beat this um if that is actually the case but again my point here is that like this is there's the developers clearly added this to the game just for fun there's no pvp here there's no grinding uh you know stuff out in the world there's no oh you have action points and now there's some artificial limitation as to how much fun you can have like no you're just playing this little mini game and it's just the point is to like see if you can win and uh i actually like it a lot it is it's simple again this is another simple mini game it gets we're not reinventing the wheel here we're just implementing game modes that already exist in other games but you're putting like meaningful progression behind that mini game and to me it's like that's the way to do it this is what adds variety and replayability to games is having these mini games built in where it's completely different from your normal everyday gameplay and you know it keeps things fresh it keeps these in it keeps things interesting and meanwhile this you know this um this mini game or this game mode is available at all times you can basically play whenever you want but you know the things like the the horse mini game that i just showed you where you're you're running down the track those come around periodically and so you do kind of have that like reason to log in and actually play it if it's something that you like to do of course um now the downside of this and is that if there are mini games that you don't actually like uh you might feel like you have to play them for the rewards which you know i could see that as being a downside but i can't imagine that it's worse than just mindlessly grinding things out in an open world right like i don't know to me i was never a fan of that i've never been a fan of chaining i've never been a fan of you know doing just the constant grinding um it's just to me it's just mind numbing and it like you have to turn your brain off it turns your brain to mush okay and i just feel like i'm wasting my life when i'm doing that um is so yeah i would just much rather oh i think that's the boss i think that's the boss um i would just much rather rewards be put behind actually interesting events like this so let's see if we can uh not die to whatever attack that is that looks insane and he just disappears into the shadow realm okay yugi boy oh why do i keep right clicking that's my bad let's do ice strike again this has a, a nice aoe slow if it does actually hit oh you're done pal you're done gg baby let's go anyway here you can see my heroic evolution and you can see how i've been upgrading my different uh skills over time and yeah gale gale sword will turn into broken slash when i get uh eight of these valhalla cores and yeah there's also the brave trials here so there are different ways of getting your hands on those valhalla cores and yeah there's the beast trial as well artifact trial stuff like that and that's going to make you more powerful as you go through here and there's also an easy mode and a hard mode as well 
which looks very demonic. I haven't progressed through this at all, but yeah, again, I, I don't know. I just love this. I love, I love that mini game in this in War and Order. And I don't know why other city builder games don't just do something similar to that. It's like, it's fun. You don't have to think too far outside the box. Just implement something fun. Now, the third and final sort of mini game or event that I want to go over here is in the defense command building in your city. There are two events. There is classic and infinite wars. And this is basically, let me go ahead and claim my reward here, which is beautiful. This is what I mean. You're actually like, oh, oh God, am I getting attacked right now? What, what's, what's, what's about to hit me? Who, what, hey, my boy, my boy, what's going on? What, who, who, oh, hey, yo, who's, 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 who's attacking me? Oh, he's, he's scouting me. Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that real quick. Watch me random teleport. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. All right, let's use a two hour P shield just so that way nobody interrupts the dang video. Okay. Anyway, the castle wars sort of mini game is basically a tower defense mini game, and you can unlock more defense towers as you go, as you just saw there. And what are we going to do? I'm going to go ahead and put a slow right here. And then I'm going to build my sort of normal, uh, single attack crossbow tower. This is the ice tower here. And then I'm going to do, uh, I guess we'll do two arrow towers and we'll see if that's enough. Um, so let's see if we can zoom in here just to see what's going on and we can actually increase the speed. And as you can see, the whole purpose of the, the whole point of this is, uh, the group slow down with a little bit of damage there, which is nice. This damage is 213. So it's actually way higher, but it is interesting to know that the slowdown does actually hurt them as well. And we are literally popping off here. I'm going to go ahead and put down the, um, the cannon towers so this is aoe damage but it's so that the obviously the crossbow deals more single target damage this deals less but aoe damage and uh this is just going to be sort of like a catch all i'm going to put it behind the other towers so that way if the crossbows can't do anything or they can't take it out then the uh cannon tower can clean up there let's go ahead and actually upgrade this oh it's at max okay we can't actually upgrade for this stage that's unfortunate let's go ahead and put something like that this is the spell tower which is a piercing so this i think ramps up damage yeah over time it's damage over time um and this is going to be good for like melting down tanky units like this dude right here although he ain't even gonna make it boys he ain't even gonna make it let's put another um crossbow in the back there just in case just in case you know what i'm saying and we'll do uh we'll do another arrow or a slow tower here yeah slow him down baby slow him down let's go all right so we kind of i think that was a little overkill we built a lot we didn't probably have to build that much but we had max health when we finished and so we uh we get three stars and then there we go we get maximum rewards ladies and gentlemen let's go let's do the next uh let's do the next level what up bella let's go ahead and progress here and see oh we got level two for the crossbow tower okay so now that increases the damage dealt and cannon tower as well that's good to know let's go ahead and put another ice tower here and we'll do this and we'll do probably this and i think that's gonna Ooh. Well, can we can we upgrade this we can't so this is the currency that we're using here for the upgrades let's go ahead and speed this up and i will actually upgrade this let's see uh what that does um because we unlocked it so we might as well and it's lit i'm gonna go ahead and actually upgrade this one as well before i build another tower i assume oh well i guess uh, i can't upgrade this one because i haven't unlocked tier two for that yet but we are doing work our other little uh crossbow tower here hasn't actually had to do anything which is great we're going to upgrade that and then I guess I'll build some AOE right here and I will build probably a mage or a spell tower off on the right in case some of those big boys do get through although I probably should uh well we'll put we'll put the ice tower here um and then what else we have 120 I guess I'll put um oh we can upgrade this cannon tower that'll be good and then let's go ahead and put um hmm i guess we'll do another cannon tower like he uh let's no let's put the cannon tower here and uh that's that that's great and we're gonna put an arrow tower here so that way we can keep popping off and we'll put another arrow tower here i think more towers is probably better oh here's the boss okay um this is gonna be big let's go ahead and upgrade everything just in case and also i'll put a sort of a spell tower off on the right there because that's going to be super important for popping off and let's do 
another mage tower or spell tower sorry oh we didn't even need it okay we we won there it is baby there it is dude all right give me those rewards ladies and gentlemen it's lit now the infinite wars game mode is also very similar here and this is going to be a little bit harder i remember trying to do this uh earlier and let's do that we'll do this and i'll do something like that and we'll also do this and we'll do this upgrade as well did i get that i didn't get that there we go let's do this and then we'll do uh well let's do let's see um there's more gates here as you can see so there's more places for the monsters to come from so let's see what we can do next i guess i'll upgrade this tower and then we will see is anything coming from the other areas it looks like not which is great news let's put this down as well and then i'm gonna do another aoe tower here we'll upgrade that and uh that's pretty good we're doing pretty well here and this game mode is a little bit more intense than the regular mode from what i can tell but you also can get your hands on like different buffs outside of the actual game mode that will increase like your damage and things like that i think some of them also increase your rewards and we just survived a monster wave so now we can uh increase our resources is probably the better option oh i probably should have picked the blue one huh now that i think about it that probably would have made a little bit more sense let's do this and we'll upgrade that because that's a lot of um oh okay so here we have a here we got some boys coming through okay so basically let's put a ice tower here and we're gonna do aoe right on right off rip okay big aoe big big aoe and i'm too poor so we're just gonna have to hope that that's enough <laughs> um i i kind of overbuilt over here i guess but it is what it is let's just see what happens here boys let's just see what happens here um where's he run to is he gonna run through the other stuff oh that's not good guys that is actually really bad i did not expect that at all they really they really just popped off my health is so low now that's so bad okay that's kind of embarrassing uh i never said i was good at this game mode i'm gonna be honest with you guys i haven't played it as much as some of the other ones that i showed here in the video but we made it we made it so we get 20 percent increased damage for the aoe i'm gonna do that hopefully that's enough here um we probably is this a boss or is that no it's not a boss it's just where the monsters are coming from right tell me it's not a boss tell me it's not a boss okay it looks like it's not a boss which is great um but i did not yeah that's a that's a real that's a real tough uh that's a tough thing to defend right there i'm gonna be honest with you guys i'm gonna be real honest oh oh we have six health we have six health that is an unbelievably small amount of health okay we're gonna go ahead and do a another crossbow tower here and uh another crossbow tower here and hopefully we can um protect yeah this is not looking that is not looking at ah uh, there we go we took the l we took the l ladies and gentlemen but it is what it is you get the point okay you get the point this is a much more intense sort of version of tower defense compared to the more classic version that we see in the castle war campaign anyway the point of this video was to share with you guys three different events three different mini games that have gameplay that is completely different from anything that you see in other city builder games and i hope that one thing that other city builders can learn from videos and this sort of series is that they should experiment with game modes like this because it's a lot of fun in war in order and it's one of the major things that sets war in order apart from all the other city builders that we see on the app store if any of the events in this video looked interesting to you of course there will be a link in the description below to download war and order the game is absolutely free and once again i do want to thank war and order for sponsoring this video generous sponsors like them help me do what i do here on youtube and downloading with my link down below will continue to support the channel and it is absolutely free with that being said while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other people might see it also comment down below what you think of the different events here in war and order do you want to see these types of events in in other city builder games what do you think i personally love the variety and i love that there's just game modes in the game for just fun basically but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a war in order video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace